Hello, my name is Randy Dobson. I'm an instructor here in the Houston, Texas area. And this video will be covering the AutoCAD 3D Revolve. Uh, uh, so, again, it's, it's one of these four that's up here um, that will take a 2D object and turn it into a, a model, solid. So, if you know, you, um, you're looking at this right here, I've drawn up. As you can see, it you know it looks looks pretty complicated. You know, you would you would look at something like that and try to figure out where to start. Uh, and what I want to tell you is this right here took maybe 15 seconds. This is what it started with. Okay, so here's a P line. Okay, now uh, revolve is like mirror. Where you have to give it a line that you want to revolve around or you know rotate in 2D, you just did it with a point because it was 2D. Now that it was with 3D, it needs a line. It needs two points. So if I go to revolve and I pick this, and then let's just say I want to put the the mirror point or the revolve point here to here, I just type in 360 to go all the way around, and there I have that. So this right here was created from taking a 2D object, P-line, plus one of these four, and then it equals a solid. Okay, uh, the revolve, again, you, you want to decide where you're going to revolve around. Say, you know, see this has a big opening in the middle. If I go to revolve and I pick this and I put my line right up on this one, and type in 360. Oops, I think I, I think I clicked on something wrong. Let me go back. Revolve. I'm going to select this object. Now it's saying specify first point. I'm going to go to end here and end there. Oops, I'm sorry. I thought let me do that again. End. And then I'm just going to come out here somewhere and click. And I'm going to type in 360. And I'm not sure why that is not working. Um, let me try that one more time. Revolve. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go right on that line. I'm going to go just a little bit inside of it there. And I'm going to type 360. As you can see, the uh, the center point is a lot smaller. Okay. Uh, again, you know, you could draw. You could figure out what your your uh, revolution line would be here because you would have this gap in here. I mean, if I brought this, uh, let's kind of get this out of the way, but if I made this mirror line way over here, watch what happens to that center. I'm going to revolve there. Okay, if I could type. There's 360, so see, I just drew that. Uh, but it all depends on this distance between your revolution line. You know, here you would make an opening. Uh, let's just, let me take this down here. I want to run it past it. And we'll trim this one up. Okay, and let's just join everything together just to make sure. So everything is one. So now when I go to revolve, if I pick the end point of this line, oops, if I pick the end point of this line and the end point of this line, then when I type in 360, there you have it. It's, it's slightly different. Uh, let me go back here. Uh, but I mean, if I, if I wanted to, uh, you know, bring this line over a little bit and, and uh, even you know come over here and and do it somewhat different but you have to understand that you know where you put that I mean I could put that revolution line over oops a line over here and go revolve pick this use this as my revolution line click over here type in 360 now look how big it is because it's going around that revolution line think of it as the center of a wheel okay uh, so the the revolve uh, can do this it can uh, uh, 
uh, you know if I've got a circle like this if I want it to uh, revolve it uh, you know here you can see me I'm drawing it looks like a, a, a pilot if I did 180 it looked like something under your drain but as you notice it is solid so what I would need to do is go revolve mode surface select the object now as you can see I've made a hollow tubing okay so uh, play around with that again the revolve this is the part of 3d I try to tell you know try to get my students to not be so intimidated just because you look at this complicated thing and all it is is this so sometimes you can take things and revolve it sometimes you can't to get it to look right but uh, it's it's one of these four up here uh, that take 2d objects like this and with adding one of these to it you make a 3d object okay just like this one right here you know this right here started off as just a circle that was it okay so that concludes my video on revolve thank you